Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. Today, we're going to review some beef jerky, and this one came from Aldi's. We'll check it out right, right after, after this. this. So if you're new to our channel, welcome. Like I said, my name is Joe. And I'm Rachel. And we're Two Crazy Ketos. And here on our channel, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then once a week, we sit down on the couch for a keto on the couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if you are subscribed, don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So I love beef jerky. Who doesn't? It's like delicious. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if I love meat sticks, I'm going to love beef jerky. It's kind of a staple of a keto lifestyle, I think. Yeah, but the problem with beef jerky, especially store-bought ones, is a lot of times... They're loaded with carbohydrates. I mean, usually I pick up the ones in the stores and they have like six, eight, 10, 12. I've even seen them as high as like 20 total carbohydrates. And my like guideline for buying beef jerky on the keto diet is it's gotta be less than two total carbs per serving. And it's hard to meet that standard because they add a lot of sugar and like maple flavoring and stuff. And then when you do find one that's like a top shelf beef jerky, you usually have to like sell a kidney in order to buy it because it's like so expensive. Right. And beef jerky itself should be expensive because basically what they're dehydrating is beef. And so you're going to take like a pound of like beef is only going to make about a quarter of a pound to maybe if you're lucky a half a pound, yeah. but usually about a quarter of a pound. So it's gonna cost a lot of money to make it. So a really good beef jerky is usually gonna be somewhere around $30 a pound. So you can imagine my surprise when I'm like pushing the shopping cart through Aldi's and I see packs of beef jerky for $4.49. Right, I send Rachel to the store to get like seltzer water for our seltzer water comparison video and she comes home, she's like, I found beef jerky that's like low carb yeah. in Aldi's. And I was like, Paul, we gotta try this stuff. Don't you love how you send me on an errand and I find something totally different yeah. <laughs> so we've got three different flavors here. This is from Sims. Okay. It's and an Aldi's brand. That's the Aldi's brand. It says Sims Protein Snacks. We have original beef bit long. We have a smoked beef bit long. And then this is the one that really shocks me is it's a teriyaki beef bit long. Yeah, because usually teriyaki is like no, no, because it has tons of sugar in it. And they actually had another like Aldi's brand where it was like it was teriyaki beef jerky like their you know regular bag that they usually carry and it was off limits it was yeah. terrible amount of sugar now i mean i haven't we haven't opened this up but bit long is usually much thinner pieces of beef jerky so i'm interested yeah. in what it looks like and on the back here it says bit long is a centuries old process of drying and preserving meat a blend of spices are added, giving bit long its flavorful taste. The wholesome and nutritious snack is a high protein and has zero grams of carbohydrates and sugar per serving, allowing you to enjoy guilt free. So let's go over all of these. So on the back, it does say no preservatives, no, it's nitrate free and no MSG. Wow. Zero grams of sugars and zero grams of carbohydrates. Refreshing. Okay, so this is a two and a quarter ounce bag, and I think they're all the same. Yep. And uh, so it says um, there is two servings per container and a serving size is one ounce. Okay. But it's kind of weird though. It says per serving it's 90 calories, but per container it's 210. So okay, there's so actually not two servings in a, in a bag. That there's does not add up. Two and a quarter servings in a bag. Oh, okay. Okay. But we're going to go buy the whole bag. Okay. Because Rachel's going to eat the whole bag. I'm not, but true. you are. Absolutely. Right? Okay, so the whole bag, 200, I like the fact that they're doing that. Not a lot of companies do that. If you look on the back, they've got, this is how much it is in a serving, and this is how much if you eat the entire bag. This is called integrity, mm, yeah. because they're not afraid, they're proud of their product, and they're like enabling it to be scrutinized. Yeah, okay, so this is the teriyaki one, so it's 210 calories for the entire bag. It is five grams of total fat, 36 grams of total protein. It's meat, so it's, it's going to be very so it's high, be in, high protein. in protein. And, you know. So then we have a total of one gram total carbs if you eat the entire bag, zero if you're eating the 
half of the bag. Honestly, that's almost unheard of with the teriyaki flavor. Yeah, what that is, is in unheard the ingredients? of with the teriyaki. So the ingredients in this one are beef, soy sauce, which is made from water, soybeans, rice salt, vinegar. It then contains 2% or less of salt, raisin juice concentrate, spices, natural smoke flavor, and then water, which is hickory smoke and concentrate. That is why they're able to make it kind of sweet. Because you think of sweetness with teriyaki, it's the raisin juice. Yep. Well, let's see if it really is sweet. That's creative. So this other one here, it's the same in macros. Mm -hmm. and, and the ingredients in this one are going to be beef, natural smoke flavor, water, hickory smoke concentrate, vinegar, contains 2% or less of salt, raisin juice concentrate, and spices. Okay. And that's the smoke flavor. And then the original flavor, same macros, and it's beef vinegar, and then contains 2% or less of salt, raisin juice, concentrate, and spices. Okay, so they're just like varying the amount of raisin juice and spices. Yeah, so which on one we want to try first? I absolutely want to try teriyaki. You don't want to try a plain flavor first because the, teri the teriyaki may ruin our other flavors. I'm too excited about the teriyaki. Okay. Now they do have the thing where you can reseal it, but I like, was just going to say I I'm not love that. It. Well, I am because I would never eat an entire bag. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so it is Wimp. very thin pieces. So it's not like your traditional jerky, no. you know, where it's very chewy and you're going to be chewing on a little piece. So you can it's see like a strip. It's very very thin. Okay. Oh, it smells good. It smells like teriyaki. Wow. It's pretty flavorful. Very flavorful. It's not like super sweet though. No. Like if you're teriyaki and you want it to taste like sugar in your mouth, it's not. It's more vinegary. Yeah. It's but very I'm not flavorful. upset by it. I don't know about the teriyaki flavor. I, I think teriyaki, I think a little bit sweeter. Mm hmm I taste soy sauce though. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the smoke. I definitely, it tastes more like soy sauce. Yeah. Than teriyaki sauce. Yeah, it tastes like a piece of beef that you get at like a Chinese restaurant and then sit it in the soy sauce cup. Again, does not make me upset. That smells really good. Smoked. That smells like smoke, doesn't it? Wow. And again, there's... A little darker. It's a little bit darker. That tastes like a piece of smoked meat. That has got a good campfire smoked flavor to it. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That is, if you like like liquid smoke taste, you're gonna love that. Wow. That is really good. <laughs> now, but now tasting them back to back, I can taste the, the, soy the, sauce. the soy sauce more in this one. But again, it's soy sauce flavored, it's not teriyaki. Yeah, well, I mean, teriyaki is based in soy sauce, but because there's sweeter. no sugar, mm -hmm. I'm used to it being a little bit sweeter. But I do love the fact that these are resealable bags. Because I'm telling you, bit long, it's not something easy to eat a lot of in one Well, we're not going to eat three bags tonight. But, okay, let's do this. Just so you can get an idea of, that's what's in a bag. $4.49. So that's what's in a bag. So there's a decent amount. Ooh, as I'm dropping it everywhere. Let me smell it. I just like, wow. Okay, so this is just original. I need a little bit bigger piece. Ditto. If you don't like spices, and you want it just plain, huh. tastes like meat. I don't know. I would never get that flavor if there's another flavor option. This is just like very plain, unseasoned beef. But some people don't like seasoning. Yeah. I mean, and there's not a lot of flavor. It's very, it's kind it's of It's like beef. Well. Wow. Okay. It's got a nice mouthfeel. You want to put this through five things? Oh my gosh, we have to. Five, five things. things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five different criteria. Uh, we talk about what are the ingredients, like are they good ingredients? Mm -hmm. Number two, does it keto based on the nutrition label? 
Number three, how does it taste? Number four, how much does it cost? And number five, would we recommend it? Yep. Okay. So let's talk about the ingredients. The ingredients in this are pretty good. I love the creativity of using the raisin juice. Yeah. To add some sweetness. If if I'm going to have a knock on the ingredients of these. Okay. It's not grass fed. Right. Okay. So it's not grass fed. So if that's something that's important to you, which... It is becoming more important to us in our lives, mm -hmm. which is one of the reasons why like Chomps beef sticks are one of my favorite beef sticks. Yeah. And now we found the new one that we really like. Yes, right? oh my gracious. The Nicky's. Is it Nick's? Nick's. Nick's uh, that we came in our keto crate. Yeah. That has become more important, but if I'm out on the road and I can't find grass fed. Yeah, you can't always. Like, this is a great option. And I would say the same thing about like, it doesn't really have a whole lot of other stuff like, you know, vinegar and some raisin and stuff like that. But there's no nitrates or anything like that. So overall, I think the ingredients are pretty good. I wish it was grass-fed, but if it was grass-fed, it wouldn't be $4 It wouldn't be $4.49 a bag. Right. Okay. So number two, does it keto based on the nutrition? Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah. So now it is very high in protein. Yeah, but it's... But it's beef, beef. bit long. Yeah. Okay. So bit long is usually going to be a much lower fat beef jerky than a standard beef jerky because... It's much thinner cut. The fat has gone on it. So, yeah. you know, just keep in mind, like, this is something to snack on, but make sure that you're checking your macros and accommodating yeah. it. And that's why Pair I also would not eat an entire bag in a sitting because, like, you're talking about if you eat this entire bag, 35 milligrams, well, that is, like, more than a third of your daily protein intake. Yeah. So that is something to consider. You might want to accompany it with like avocado yeah. or something but else. But again, you think you're going to eat an entire bag a bit long and I'm telling you you're not. It takes a long time to even it chew it. It takes a long time to chew it. They're very, very thin things. It's just something to give you. You need a little bit of flavor. You want something to chew on. Maybe going to the movies. I might consider an entire bag at the movies. Oh, yeah. You Plus know? it, it's a good replacement for trail mix. Yeah. If you're like out and you're, you know, hiking or doing stuff during the summer, it's nice to bring along with you. So the ingredients are really good. Uh, number three, the taste. Delicious. They're delicious. I mean, I've had better. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I've had better. But you've paid more for it too. But I've paid a lot more. And then I can compare this to a beef jerky that we just recently picked up at Whole Foods that was grass fed. Mm -hmm. And... I remember buying it and it was a jalapeno flavor and I said to you like it doesn't even have a jalapeno flavor. No. And it was grass fed but it was twice as much. I think I paid $9 for that bag and it didn't have this much flavor in it. No, this has a lot of flavor, especially the smoked and the teriyaki. I would say like, yeah, if you're going to buy it, these are the two flavors to buy. Yeah. Smoked and teriyaki. Again, the teriyaki and they're tastes very more like soy sauce, not yeah. like sweet soy it's sauce. It's not a sweet soy sauce. But it tastes a lot like soy sauce if you like that flavor. And the smoked is like liquid smoke. Yeah. Finally, cost. How much did you say it was cost? $4.49 a bag. $4.49 a bag. So I would say that's about half price of most like good low carbohydrate beef jerkies that I find. And the yeah. fact that it's in all of these yeah. is to me pretty incredible. It's, it's really awesome. And again, I mean, back to the taste. One thing I wanted to say is sometimes the really like the cheaper or, you know, um, beef jerky it gives like a terrible mouthfeel on the roof Bad of your mouth. Bad texture. It's like a tallow. Especially that, bit long. That coats your mouth. Bit long has to be done right because I've had some very expensive bit long that I got at Lucky's and Whole Foods and I threw it out. Like, and me, for me to throw out beef jerky or a meat stick, okay. it has to be really bad. Yeah, and this doesn't have any of that. No, it is very good. It's got the perfect amount of chewiness. I think what it is is that they're not adding a ton of junk right. to make it shelf stable for a million years. And it's, I, I really think just pulling another piece out, it's like the perfect thickness because sometimes, like, I've had bit long that it is too thin. It's right. like thinner than a piece of paper, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but it's it's a decent thickness. It's not. It's probably about I'd say half to maybe a quarter of the thickness of, of a normal jerky. piece of regular traditional what you would gnaw on beef jerky. Yeah, it's delicious. Like, see how I got an extra piece out of that? I know. I see. I see what you did there. Right. So the last thing is, would we recommend it? Yeah. Number five. Would we recommend it? Clearly, we would not. I would absolutely recommend this. I mean, again, my preference is grass-fed, but if I'm out 
I'm buying this. If I need a snack. A lot know. of times people are asking us, like, what can I take to work? Mm -hmm. What can I grab and go? I'm still enjoying this. I know. It's it's delicious and reasonably priced and a great grab and go item. Yeah. So, yeah, we would absolutely recommend this. I did good. You did really good. I'm proud of you. Good find. So, <laughs> so that's our video for today. Let us know down below, like, what is your favorite brand low carb beef jerky? And my definition of low carb is it's got to be two total carbs or less. Oh my goodness. And also, what's your favorite flavor? Yeah, what's your favorite flavor? You know what else I'd like to know? If they have their own recipe for beef jerky, like a marinade that they use that's a low carb marinade. I have my own recipe. You do? Yeah. I use soda. Soda? It works really well. But here's the problem with making my own beef jerky. You have to put it on that smoker for hours. And you have to put it in your dehydrator for hours or run your oven for hours. This comes out to be cheaper. It is, but I'd still like to know if they have a good recipe. Yeah, so it. let us know down below. What's your favorite brand? What's your favorite flavor? And do you have a recipe? For your own. For your own. So if you like what you saw, do us a favor. Hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. And until next time, bye. Bye.